Kendall Jenner and her basketball player Beau certainly make a more low-key couple than her sisters and their partners. Kendall is well known for shying away from the limelight compared to the rest of the Kardashian-Jenner clan, and she has a tranquil Los Angeles home to retreat to when the public eye gets to be just too much. Her boyfriend, Suns All-Star Devin Booker on the other hand, has a modern estate in Phoenix, Arizona, but it said he's traded that in for another property. Well, that leaves us to wonder if the couple has decided to shack up together now. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kendall Jenner is a model, reality star, influencer, and more who rose to fame starring alongside her famous family in the reality series Keeping Up With The Kardashians. At the time of this recording, her net worth is at an estimated $45 million or more. And while her real estate portfolio may not be as active as her sister Kylie's, she still owns a drop dead gorgeous home in Mulholland Estates that has quite the Hollywood history. Kendall has been seeing her boyfriend NBA star Devin Booker since last year, and while the pair tries to lay low, it seems they're happy together. Devin is an all-star basketball player on the Phoenix Suns, and he's quickly rising to the top of his game, amassing a reported fortune of over $26 million already. In 2017, he treated himself by purchasing a contemporary crib in Phoenix, but more recently, Devin apparently sold that home and upgraded. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this time looking at where Kendall Jenner and her man Devin Booker call home. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. First, let's take a look at Devin's home. The young NBA All-Star purchased a stunning house back in 2017, located in the community of Kachina Estates in Phoenix, Arizona. He put the house on the market last February after starting his five-year, $158 million extension with the Suns, and it sold in October 2020 for $3.45 million. According to property records, Devin scored the Paradise Valley area home for $3.25 million, and it had only been built a year prior. Not to mention, listing photos show his contemporary crib looks like it's barely been lived in. The sleek and custom estate is a desert oasis spanning over 5,500 square feet of space on a one acre lot. It boasts a boxy exterior with a gated entry and four car garage, while interiors are comprised of state of the art finishes. Glass front doors lead you into an open floor plan made up of multiple rooms to entertain or kick back and relax. The impressive living room has soaring ceilings as well as a double height modern fireplace side by side to a built in flat screen TV. This space attaches to a cozy private office on one side, while the other wall is floor to ceiling retractable glass that opens to the yard. Both the chef's kitchen and the great room overlook the covered patio and dining space for indoor outdoor flow. The kitchen brings in wood accents for the cabinets and built-ins to complement all of the white aesthetic in the home. Here there's also an Eden Island, breakfast nook and nearby, a formal dining room with wine storage and a butler's pantry no less. Elsewhere, Devon's former abode had a home movie theater as well as an exercise or bonus room. The master suite was large and had a spa style attached bath with walk-in glass shower and double vanities as well as a custom dressing room with built-ins ready to be filled with designer outfits, shoes and accessories. Finally, the retractable glass doors on the main floor lead out to the sprawling backyard. There's a sleek pool, a spa and multiple lounge areas back here. While he may have sold this house, Devin allegedly isn't going anywhere. It said he moved into a newer, much bigger home in Paradise Valley a while ago, and he hasn't lived in this house we looked at since he listed it. While he and Kendall may spend a lot of time together, word is that the couple hasn't moved in together yet. But where do they shack up when they're in LA? Well, I'm just gonna take a wild guess here and say Kendall's peaceful estate, which she purchased in 2017 for $8.55 million. The Spanish style mini mansion is tucked away on a private street behind the guarded gates of Mulholland Estates on just under an acre of land. As you likely know, Mulholland Estates is a celebrity favorite, so Kendall's home also has a Hollywood history. The house formerly belonged to none other than actor Charlie Sheen. 
but the model has since changed the interiors to fit her personality. Kendall's crib has a completely different vibe than her sister's homes, that's for sure. She told Architectural Digest, I like a house that has character. When I walked into this place, I was immediately drawn to the peaceful, Spanishy, farmhousey vibe. My life involves a lot of chaos and travel and high energy, so I wanted a home that feels serene, a place where I can simply zone out and relax. And it would appear that Kendall achieved these goals. Her home spans 6,625 square feet of space and is jam packed with amenities like a tranquil courtyard, an art studio, and much more, along with five beds and six baths. Kendall had a preference for neutral colors and a bohemian vibe when designing her home, alongside designers Waldo Fernandez and Kathleen and Tommy Clements. Kendall made a few structural changes to the house too, including changing two of the bedrooms into a pair of glam and fitting rooms. I mean, what girl wouldn't want to do that? I sure would. The Mediterranean style house boasts a welcoming courtyard with fountain to set the tone for what's to come, and inside there's a split level floor plan throughout. There's a large dining room Kendall decked out with a wooden table, an office, a family room, and fully equipped gourmet kitchen. Kendall transformed the kitchen into a dreamy space with marble countertops, teal colored cabinets, and a large island, which is good because apparently she likes to cook. I'm gonna bet she's made a romantic dinner for Devon or two here. My kitchen, this is most definitely the most used room in the house. Every single day and night I make dinner with my friends most of the time. There's also a media room which opens to the yard as well as an office space with fireplace connected to a breezy walkway and the courtyard. This is my office area. I hang in here with the people I work with a lot of the time. To my nice little courtyard out here which is also one of my favorite places. In the, world. the main living space best showcases Kendall's style offering warm and organic textures with earthy tones. I guess formal living room. I made sure there was no TVs in here. So we get into a There are soaring beam ceilings along with a wall of arched French doors to outside and a large cozy fireplace. Furnishings are plush and comfortable with two sofas and a soft white rug underfoot. Kendall doesn't like to throw parties. She prefers a more low key vibe, saying, I like turning on music, lighting the fireplace and candles, and watching NBA games with my friends. Off of a bar area in her home, there's a dark toned powder room with a 300 pound sink looking like part of a cliff to keep with that earthy vibe. At the time of purchase, there was an outdated movie theater decked out in an all red design. Some may call it tacky, but I thought it had character. Anyways, Kendall opted to transform the space into something new altogether, an art studio. Kendall's master suite offers more beamed ceilings and a large luxurious bed. Other features here include glass doors to the outside space, a sitting area with fireplace, and an impressive ensuite bath. Her bathroom actually had one of the biggest makeovers of all. They expanded the shower to twice its original size and added glass to give it an open feel, also fully raising the ceilings. We also can't miss the massive brass tub she has. It's a statement piece to say the least. Like I previously mentioned, two of the bedrooms were also turned into a dressing room and glam room, which I think was a great transformation, while the nearby powder room boasts some of Kendall's framed magazine covers. Outside, Kendall's backyard is protected by trees, offering extensive privacy. Amenities include a stunning pool and spa, a large lawn, and plenty of alfresco lounge areas. Thanks to the home's shape, many of the rooms have glass doors that open to the outdoor area as well for easy access. All right, so they may not have purchased the home together yet, but we got to see where Kendall Jenner and her boo Devin Booker call home. While I'm not sure of the new property that Devin snagged in Paradise Valley, I'm sure it's even more impressive than the one he recently sold. While it looks like his home wasn't even used much, I'm gonna guess he doesn't get much home time during the basketball season, and in the off season, he's likely spending a lot of time at Kendall's place in Mulholland Estates. Which of the two homes did you prefer? I think Kendall's redesign retreat says a lot about her personality and it has more of a down to earth and homey vibe than most of her sister's homes do. Even Devon's former estate was far more modern than Kendall's. Both of the properties are gorgeous but I'm gonna have to choose Kendall's and I especially loved her main living room and the glam room. However, I would have kept the red movie theater. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Kendall and Devin's homes down in the comments or if there's a new home the couple is shacking up at. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.